Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesdays Together. You know, in just a couple of days, we're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is traditionally a time when we gather with family and often friends, and we have a big meal, and we eat, and we eat, and we eat. And this year, because of the pandemic and, and everything, it may look a little bit different, but it is still an important day in our lives. You know, if we turn to... Uh, Scripture. If we turn to uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, we read this. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. See, Paul wrote these words to uh, the Thessalonians to encourage them to be thankful. To, to lead lives of thanksgiving. Uh, I've seen it several times lately written up as uh, thanks living. But whatever it is, the Thessalonians and us by extension are being challenged to make gratitude and giving thanks a part of our lives. Several years ago, a colleague and friend of mine, Ed Brenniger, uh, Put out a graphic. Now Ed is a writer and uh, a leader. He, he works with churches and educational institutions, nonprofits, businesses, and, and government organizations. And, uh, but he put out this, this graphic in this, in this thing as part of a book he wrote called The Five Actions of Gratitude. And I'm thankful for him for allowing me to use it. So I thought for this Thanksgiving, I would share with you the five actions of gratitude because I think they can be so important in our lives. So we're going to try to do this in two minutes. I'm not sure if we're going to make it, but let's get two minutes on the clock and let's go. So the first thing we're going to start with is say thank you. Just give thanks. It's so simple and yet it can mean so much. You can just say thank you or write a note or a card. It doesn't have to be a long letter, but just a little note, a little simple note saying thank you can mean so much to people. Second is to give back. You know, we need to think about serving the needs of others. I often talk about living outside of ourselves, but we need to reach out and to work to make a difference in people's lives. You know, if we're honest, we've all benefited from the help of others, and we need to, to turn the tables, and we need to reach out and help others and make an impact uh, in their lives. The third thing is to make welcome. You know, we are naturally grouped uh, in various ways. We're grouped by uh, political uh, leanings. We are grouped by neighborhoods and where we live. Where we live, we're grouped by the way our, our kids are in sports or what grade they're in. We're, we're grouped by so many different things. But one of the things we need to be sure we do is extend that group. We need to be sure that we allow within our lives, our circle of impact within us, people who do not look like us or think like us. And we need to make them feel welcome. we got to be careful that we are not excluding others simply because we don't know them or they look different or they act different. But we have to do that very intentionally. So work to make welcome a part of your life. The fourth thing is to honor others. I've often heard it said, if you respect me, I will respect you. Well, I think as Christians, we need to flip that table. Let's respect them because they were created by God and loved by God. And the last thing is to create goodness. It sounds so simple. But look for ways to be kind and helpful and caring and cooperative with others because that will be contagious and others will do the same thing. So look, I hope that you can take these five actions of gratitude and incorporate them into your lives and begin to live lives of thanksgiving. Well, look, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I encourage you to share it with others this holiday season. And if you haven't already, please take the time to hit like, hit share, and subscribe to my channel.